Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Clifton Wright. Hope you're all doing great out there in internet land. Today's video is about this thing. This is my main rack rig. Now, if you ever checked out my channel before, you probably noticed that I sort of have an affinity for vintage rack units. And uh, although I do enjoy checking out all that stuff and letting it inspire me in the moment, uh, this is my main baby uh, that does all of the heavy lifting. Anything that comes across my desk that requires me to do some absurd and maybe opulent soundscaping, is this is what I use. And I'm sure you'll have some questions like, why three PCM70s? And uh, those kind of questions are easy for me to answer because I like the way that PCM70s do three things and I want those three things at once and I want them now. So I need three PCM70s to do that. Like this kind of thing. I've got a, a multi-voice chorus, I've got a, a modulated concert hall, and then I've got a circular delay. And those are three things that I really love the way a PCM70 does. Yeah. So anyway, what I got happening now is a jam session that I'm about to play for you. And I've crafted four sounds. Uh, basically, they're different combinations of all these effects here. And uh, I got a little wild with it, you know. I just wanted to get inspired by the sounds and uh, kind of craft a little tune out of it. So I'll let you listen to that, and then I'm going to explain kind of the reasoning and what's, what's actually happening, like which effects I'm unit using, and uh, to some degree, like which parameters of those effects, especially the more extreme ones. You might be like, what in the world is that? And I'm going to try and explain it to you uh, in the little segment of the video after the jam. So stay tuned and check this out. Ah, well, there it is. Okay, please allow me to explain myself. And uh, before I get into too much detail about the individual sounds you just heard in that jam, let me uh, explain as quickly and concisely as I can the signal flow here, because I'm sure some of you are like me. You're a little nerdier, and you're like, I want to know more. So here's more as quickly as I can. We've got the, uh, the modules from the Synergy, which are the Bogner Ecstasy and the Morgan AC, and those feed the Torpedo Live, which is where the power amp sim and IRs are happening. And then there's a GCX with all the pedals uh, routed into that, and that goes into the front of the other thing. Um, then I've got the DBX-160A, which is also in the GCX, but it's routed after the thing, so if I want the compression, I use that. Um, and then the effects. This is the important part. The signal from the uh, torpedo goes into the Roland M120, right, into channel one. The output, the aux send from the M120 is going to the rain 
SM26, which then splits into six uh, different signals, and all those feed everything on there, basically. Uh, that's really all you need to know about that, is that everything has its own individual channel where it can be blended, panned, and then mixed with the final uh, output signal, so that it's technically in parallel. That way you've got like that pure, clean tone right down the middle, and then you have the effects in parallel swirling and swishing all around it, alright? That's how most people roll when they build racks like this, and in this particular case, that's how I rolled. So, now, let's get back on track, shall we? Sound number one, sort of a Steve Vai inspired. We have these delayed pitch shifts happening uh, left and right. And uh, that was the Morgan AC unit, the red channel. And uh, then it was the Eventide uh, preset 168, which is a multi-shift with some delay on it. So the little things kind of ping around. Uh, then there was also the PCM70 tile room to kind of give it this bright splat of verb. And then the Maxon FL302 uh, flanger. Uh, for the flange, it's an analog flange that's feeding the front end of the preamp from my pedal drawer. And then the OD802, which is my favorite overdrive of all time. So that's the first sound. <laughs> The second sound also utilized the Morgan AC module in the Sign 2 preamp by Synergy, uh, but this time it was the blue channel, so it's a little bit cleaner. Um, and then for that one, I used the Eventide uh, preset number 225, which is just called Brown, which I assume is sort of an homage to Van Halen. But what's interesting about this pitch shift, it's four voices again, uh, but they're all small micro shifts, and they're all down. So they're like minus three left, minus five right, minus seven left, minus nine right, and kind of pan 50% and then 100% as it gets bigger. Yeah, so it's a four-voice detune. Then I had the PCM70 medium room. Uh, just to kind of give it some depth and some space, but not a lot of, of trail. And then I used the Boss HM2, yes, a vintage HM2, the, the Swedish chainsaw, but with the distortion turned way back so that it's, uh, I kind of use it in the context of a fuzz pedal, sort of how David Gilmore used it. So it's just sort of a vibey tone. I dig it. I like it in settings other than the chainsaw sound a lot more, to be honest. That's just my taste, though. Uh, then I used the Maxon PT909, which is my favorite phaser, and it's the orange phaser that looks like a tube screamer. It's pretty cool. I like it. I also used the GE9, which is another Maxon pedal, but it's sort of the 9 format, uh, like, the, uh, like the TS9, but it's a, a great sounding uh, EQ pedal. <laughs> All right, that sound you just heard was the blue channel from the Bogner Ecstasy module in the Sign 2. And uh, this time I used the Rev 7, this big Yamaha unit up here, this big VCR size thing. I used the large hall from that unit, which is a beautiful sounding reverb. Very underrated unit in my opinion, um, which is why I have it here amongst lexicons and uh, eventides. I like it that much. Um, and then I also used the uh, PCM70 Mod Wobble preset, which I kind of modified a little bit. It's a multi-voice chorus uh, with like different delay times and panning set on each voice of the chorus, so that there's a little bit of movement, a little more movement than your typical chorus. And then I also had the circular delay from the bottom PCM70. And then I also had the Maxon OD802 happening with that track. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, that last sound you just heard, quiero escuchar más, el especial del hoy. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, that was the red channel of the Bogner Ecstasy, which is that big, fat, smooth, just tasty sounding lead. Um, very nice under the fingers. It's great. It's kind of like the modern Lukather lead sound. Even with without a lot of gain, it's just sweet to play on. Uh, so I had that, and then I had the wildest eight voice detune imaginable happening from the eventide i'm talking about like plus 10 minus 10 plus 8 minus 8 plus 6 minus 6 minus 4 plus 4 all panned all over the stereo spectrum so a really aggressive uh detune um but not too crazy you know you can still hear actual notes a little bit and then i also had the rev 7 doing a symphonic on top of that so that's sort of your classic um, ensemble chorus from Yamaha and this is sort of like in my opinion the best iteration of it it's one of the earlier iterations and it's from a very nice powerful unit the Rev 7 which is one that I love um, and then I also on top of that had the PCM 70 doing the locker room reverb to kind of give it sort of a unique ambience and vibe and depth and a little bit of uh, reverberated spank if you will and then I also had the the lexicon chorus happening on another PCM 70. So this one was basically just about how much modulation can I stack on something and uh, still make it sound like an actual guitar. Now some of you may be asking yourself, what's the deal with the old Boss HM2 in your rack? Uh, so sort of as some supplementary commentary for the end of this video, I'm going to explain myself. So here's a, here's a sound. This is the blue channel on the Bogner Ecstasy. It's a dynamic sound. It can be clean. If you play soft, or kind of grind when you dig in like that. And the only effect I've got on it right now is the PCM70 circular delay, just to give it some of that, uh, you know, ludicrous Lord Algae derpth. The derpth! So yeah, let me just go ahead and turn on the heavy metal, the HM2, which is slot number four in my GCX. <laughs> This is just a regular old Duncan Custom in an old Music Man silhouette. So there's nothing special, and the gain's not even hardly turned on. It's at like, uh, I don't know, what would you call that, 10 o'clock maybe? And the idea here was to just sort of give me a different and unique voice, to just sort of stay inspired, something uh, different than the more conventional, kind of prettier drive tones, but not so harsh and outrageous that like, I wouldn't have a use for it very often, because I really like the way it sounds sort of in the application of, uh, of fuzz, because uh, it's the distortion pedal, but it really does, depending on how you play it, resemble and feel more like a fuzz pedal. <laughs> So uh, let me throw on some other effects here. Here we'll put on that wide solo preset from the Eventide. So now we've got that happening. And then let's also put on the, a 3.2 second hall verb from the uh, Yamaha Rev. So now we're swimming in derpth, depth I mean. Starting to build up. As always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed that, make like Peter Gabriel and sledgehammer that like and subscribe button. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you hope to see any future content from this particular channel. I've enjoyed this journey through the 19-inch uh, wide Stargate into the Rack universe, and I hope you did too. So uh, be safe and have fun, y'all.